I, I know that they are now working on all these kinds of gadgets that warn people when they are making decisions in an irresponsible or an irrational way. For instance, let's say that you are a stock trader and you are dealing every second with millions of dollars. So your bank or investment firm or whatever, they would like you to put this hat, hat on which monitors your brain activity. And uh, once you start making decisions in a capricious way uh, that you're not thinking things through, a light bulb uh, uh, lights up, a red light bulb, stop trading. <laughs> now, let's say that this can be done. So first I would like to hear your opinion, can it actually be done? And if it can be done, do you think that uh, the same hat will then be used also when the same investment banker is listening to a political speech or to a religious sermon. He will take or she will take the hat from work also to church or to the political rally and put it on <laughs> and when it lights red, oh, something is going on here. <laughs> there, there are absolutely ways for us to, um, you know, fr from a neuroscience, from an electrophysiological perspective, be able to say there are patterns of activity uh, that can indicate a certain trajectory for decision making, a hundred percent. We're, we're also, we have to keep in mind, we're, we're speaking in a statistical realm right now. You know, it's, um, it gets into very shady and ethically shady, very, very complicated territory be, because of exactly all the reasons you, you pointed out. Um, you know, the, w would I love to make every person I've ever dated wear this hat? <laughs> would I love to wear that hat when I'm dating a person? Sure. But, you know, this is a, a much more, I think, complicated conversation about what we can expect technology to do, uh, what, what it's supposed to do, and also where it is allowed to fill in the blanks of what, you know, what I was raised is called seichel, you know, the, that sort of internal, you know, street sense knowledge that something is right or wrong. But I think especially, you know, I, especially here in America, the concepts of right or wrong are, are even so fuzzy right now. And we're seeing that specifically in this past year with how we talk even about COVID, how we talk about vaccines, how we talk about what's going on with the planet.